Good evening, folks, and welcome to another edition of the Ride to Report, the best show on social media. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. And even if you've been coming to the channel for a while, go ahead and hit that like button because this is where you're going to find the best content on social media. And I'm going to be here to make sure of that. And the ones who've been coming for a round, they already know. So you might as well hit that like button. And of course, share this content out with somebody. You can share it through your social media, share it through word of mouth. Or even text someone's phone because it's worth doing. It's just a small thing you can do to help the world be a better place. Now, um, the link, of course, is in the description to the video. Um, this is something that, brothers, <laughs> y'all got to be aware of. You got to be aware of. We got to understand what's going on around us. And as we look at this story, a woman shoots a gun because somebody threw some mayonnaise at her. That's the gist of what really go of re, what really been on. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, woman East ends up shooting because somebody threw some mayonnaise at her. Now, I understand somebody throwing some mayonnaise on you at you. That's not cool. You at work. I'm not one of those people who are cool with people bothering you while you at work. I'm not gonna, you know, just I'm not gonna make say that that's okay. You shouldn't be bothering people while they at work. But uh, if you are at work doing your job and someone is dealing with you at the draft through window and maybe they are getting a little bit out of pocket, but if they just so happen to throw mayonnaise at you. Now, I'm being realistic. This is at a Burger King. So so what if, when, when they say they throw mayonnaise at you, what are we talking about? Are we throwing, talking about throwing some packets of mayonnaise at a person? Are we talking about? getting some mayonnaise off the burger and then throwing that at a person? Like, what are we talking about when we say throw mayonnaise at a person? So, no way of, of, of can you be throwing mayonnaise at a person and then justify going to get a gun and shooting at them. Okay? Shout out to Go Professor. Glad to see him, my brother. Um, you can't justify shooting at a person because they threw mayonnaise at you. You know, if you're going to shoot a gun... It's got to be for, as, you know, you gotta, you're got you supposed to be defending yourself. It's got to be within reason. Someone throwing mayonnaise at you is not within reason. Now, could she have fe felt threatened? Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. Uh, they didn't give enough information for me to think that the woman even felt threatened because they're reporting she <laughs> had mayonnaise thrown at her. I don't know how you're going to feel threatened physically just with some mayonnaise being thrown at you. You know, maybe there's a way that I'm just not picking up right now, but I don't think that's uh, enough to go get the gun. Now, the thing is, she went and got the gun to shoot the gun. Now, I understand that if this is a brother, the fact that you went to get a gun and shot the gun, you'd probably be going to jail for attempted murder at this particular point. Luckily, in this case, this woman... Seems seems like they're gonna hit her with discharging a firearm in public, which is probably gonna be a lot better than attempted murder. Okay, because if her brother would have did this, she's probably gonna have to deal with attempted murder. Now, unfortunately, life just ain't fair, and this is something I've said that people have to get past. We got to get past the fact that life is not fair. Is the game is not gonna be played fairly? You're not gonna be held accountable as a black man the same way other people are gonna be held accountable. Now. Interesting thing, as they talk to the young lady's auntie, and I all I can you know, as they talk to the auntie, she defends her niece's actions. Okay, she defends her niece's actions. She don't see it as a problem. But you know what's funny about this? The funny part is her uncle got arrested. Okay, her uncle got arrested because he didn't let them search the house. Now. Let's keep it real. Even if something is going on, at least to my understanding, if you want to search someone's home, you need an arrest. I mean, you need a warrant. Okay. I believe you can search someone's uh, home if like a crime goes on and it's kind of obvious. I'm pretty sure you can search at that particular point if the if the home is included with the crime that's, that's, um, that's, that's being looked at. OK, or the suspected crime has happened. If the home is part of that, I believe they can search the home. 
the same way if, if you your car is part of a crime then they can search your car or you know but in this particular case the woman was at work when she shot the gun so if you shoot a gun while you're at work and then you come home i don't think they can actually search your home now i'm not a police officer especially not down there so i can't say 100 percent for sure but I'm pretty sure you can't just search a home and the the uh, problem happen away from the home. The problem would be she shot, well, obviously what she got arrested for, discharging a firearm in public. Now, they probably wanted to get, to get the firearm. That's what I'm assuming. Okay? And they probably wanted to search the, the home to do so. Now, the uncle doesn't let them search the home, so now he gets arrested. Yeah, she got arrested. She got hit with a lighter charge because, again, if this was a brother, he's probably going to get attempted murder for something like this. But most brothers know they can't just do that, especially if a brother is working and he's working at a Burger King. He already has enough going on. He's probably trying to get out of that situation. So he's not going to antagonize people just for the sake of. It. Now, I'm not saying whoever was at the drive through and threw the mayonnaise at the woman wasn't antagonizing her. But I'm pretty sure he didn't expect her to go get a gun and start shooting because that don't make a lot of sense. That's that's not a reasonable action. OK, not a reasonable reason to start shooting the gun. But when you have people that just are allowed to do whatever they want to do and, and don't have to face real consequences, of course, they're going to try to get up, see what they can get away with more and more and more. And that's something we need to do. We got we can't just let people. Simply because they're women, you know, we can't let black women just get away with anything they want to. Now, of course, I don't look, I don't wish for black people to to uh, end up in the crime situation. I don't wish for them to end up in in prison. I don't wish for them to have to go to court over certain stuff. But when you do certain things, you got to face the consequences at the end of the day. And I think you should have to face some level of consequences if you're just going to do stuff. And honestly. You know, shooting a gun in public, yeah, you got you need to face some type of charges when it comes to that. But again, if it was a brother, I'm pretty sure he'd be dealing with attempted murder because he's a man at that particular point. But how does the uncle get arrested when he got nothing to do with the crime? I get it. You want the gun from the crime situation. Her gun, I mean, they said her car was uh, abandoned about a mile away from from uh, from a home. Gun may not have even been there, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Because now the uncle done got arrested because he don't want to let them search the home. And this is how <laughs> white supremacy still keeps coming after us as black men, even though there's clearly nothing going on with the man when in context of this particular crime. I do understand they want to check the home and probably see if they can find the weapon. I get that all day long. But the man is at home. Now, I'm assuming that this auntie and this uncle were married, the ones that were mentioned in this story. I'm assuming that they're married. And if a married woman can tell you that she's going to defend her niece because she understands that, you know, the guy shouldn't have been doing what he was doing. And no, I can't say that it's okay to be throwing mayonnaise at people at work trying to do their job. That's not cool at the end of the day. But she went to a car, she grabbed the gun out of the car, then shot the gun. I see your brother on trial for something like that as far as, you know, a premeditated, well, they argued that, the, that it was premeditated, so it, it would be an attempt murder. I don't see how a brother walks away with this without an attempt murder. You know, I just can't see it. Now, maybe y'all will see it, but I just can't see it. I ain't going to walk away from this without an attempt to murder. But the the fact that the uncle got arrested shows a huge bias against men, if you ask me. Now, the woman did get arrested for, for discharging a firearm, but yeah, she's supposed to get arrested for something like that. But why are you going to arrest the man now? Because he, quote unquote, refused to allow you to search your home. Don't you need a warrant at the end of the day? Because the crime did not happen at the home. Of course, it would have been more convenient for them to search that home. Because they probably wouldn't come up with a weapon. But you need a warrant to search a home. So unless I'm wrong about this, which I'm pretty sure that I'm not. 
because this home was not a part of the crime scene, I believe you still need a warrant in order to search the home. But if you're a black man, you get arrested for that. Now, see, my thing is, why did the brother get arrested? This is a bad situation. The woman did what she did by grabbing the gun. She took, she, you know, she allowed her emotions to run free with this. But see, a brother, he's like, okay. And maybe he was doing this to protect his niece. Who knows? But no, you can't search my house. Why is that a problem where he got to get arrested? So a brother who wasn't even there had nothing to do with the scene of the quote-unquote crime or what's being alleged, and now he gets arrested because he don't want people going all through his house. That just don't make no sense at the end of the day. Now, do we need to look at the sisters and get them to start talking more with us and, and thinking more with us? Absolutely, because the woman took it too far at the end of the day. I'm going to say she had to take it too far based on the information that was given because I don't know how you're going to throw mayonnaise at a person and it justifies you going to get a gun. I don't see that right now. Maybe I see it another day, but I can't see it right now. But brothers, all like I can say, if, if you have access to young ladies or young men, you definitely talk to them when you can. They do need our help at the end of the day. To me, this story says it's obvious that this woman needs some type of male guidance. You know, and this may be her first time discharging a firearm in a public setting like this. But it may not be her last. And I would hate to see her get abused. Because I know there's so many other people getting abused by the system. But Lord have mercy. I think they have about to abuse her uncle through the system. So I'm real sad to hear that the uncle got arrested. And he ain't got nothing to do with the alleged crime. So it makes no sense at the end of me at the, uh, at the end of the day to me. But I just wanted to point that out, y'all. We got to be careful with how we move no matter what. So. Um, if y'all want to check out my morning show, then, you know, um, hit the Rods Report Live. That's where it would be, the Rods Report Live, Monday through Friday mornings, 9 a.m. Nothing but a good time over there, so make sure y'all subscribe to that as well. And I will see y'all next time over here on the Rods Report, Lonely of the Habitual Line Steppers. I'm Roger, I'm right, and I'm out.